Wow, look at that, it looks so thick and spice packed. Let's see how it tastes. get some more gravy on top of the mutton now let's get a big bite with the green bean veg and the cabbage together with lots of gravy mm. I'm Ki and I'm Michaela and we're here at Tanglin Hall so we've come here at Tanglin Hall specifically for this Roti Prata place which is very very famous online and it's old school nostalgic uh, gem of a place I'm so excited it's my first time here I'm ready to try the Roti Prata along with their famous curry rice that people line up for at lunchtime also we're gonna try the pork noodles mixed pork noodles and there's this braised pork knuckle rice which is one of my favorite favorites as well and we're gonna meet so many friendly people and then we're gonna end with some desserts we're gonna walk around the area and explore some more I'm gonna take you with me so let's go All right, so we already have our what's this? Prata. Kayla's prata has sugar, and mine is the prata kosong, which is just a plain prata. Then it comes with the what's this? Spicy. Yeah, it's a curry sauce. Prata always comes with curry sauce. Let's try. This is freshly cooked. Let's tear it apart. Whoa. I'm gonna dip mine in the curry sauce. Whoa. Look at that. It looks so thick and spice packed. Let's see how it tastes. is very mild in terms of spice and flavor it's not so heavy what do you think about the prata mm. Mm. so good the prata is so crispy flaky at the same time it's chewy and soft inside i mean it's very entertaining to come here the charm of this place vibe is very old school here in tanglin hall and it's one of the most famous prata shops that you can find here in singapore it's a gem and all the servers and the staff here are very friendly and very entertaining to watch them make the prata from scratch there's already a freshly made prata dough they take it stretches it flips it up flattens it out depends on your order if it's plain that's it if you want egg they put egg on top of it and then they cover it on all four sides and then flatten it up get it ready for the griddle and flip over to the next station which is the packing those who wants to dine in you get it on a plate if you want to tapa or have it for takeaway you get it in a brown paper they put the curry sauce on the plastic unfortunately it just started raining so it's kind of noisy but it's still a vibe and we love it here what do you think Kayla? 
Uh, we arrived here around 10 a.m. and their curry rice is going to be served around 11 a.m. So we're just waiting for the curry rice. And they're getting ready, they're prepping. So just beside the Prata stall is a pork noodle stall. It's just perfect because it's raining, so why not have a noodle soup? It's piping hot, freshly made. I believe this is um, some type of egg noodles. A little, a little. I believe these are yellow noodles and pork pieces in there. Chili, green veg, and it goes with this pork soup. And there's this green sauce looking that I'm not sure what it is exactly. Let's give it a try. Take a sip of the broth first. Oh. Oh yeah, savory, umami, hearty, comforting. Really perfect for the rainy weather. Oh. Mm. 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 It reminds me of the Filipino mommy noodles. Let's try the one with the sauce. Yeah, I think it's a, like a garlic chili. To enhance the flavor. Wow, this is really a good bowl of noodles. Mm. Oh. Is it hot? Umoy lula. So since we like pork noodles, we decided to get the mixed pork noodles which has the pork cuts, pork meatballs, pork liver, and there's pork intestine which is my favorite. This time we got a mixed type of noodles, yellow egg noodles, and then the white kuei tiao noodles. Piping hot while it's still raining. So savory. Mm. Oh wow, that pork is so soft. Liver. Mm. It's very creamy and tender. White ball, I don't know what's inside here. Mm. It's more firm, like a fresh pork meatball. And then, my favorite pork intestines. Man, it tastes so clean. I'm loving this area already. Tamlin Hall, you got me. Yum. So the old village stall apparently doesn't only have noodles, but they also have rice bowls with pork knuckles, which is one of my favorites as well. So it's braised pork knuckle with some white rice, maybe pickled mustard greens, half boiled egg, and smothered in braised pork sauce. Let's try it. One big bite. Oh, I love it. Normally, I don't like the pickled mustard greens, but for this bowl, it really works so well. You have a sweet, savory, tender, fatty pork knuckle with that sweet braised sauce, along with the fluffy rice and sourness from the pickled mustard greens. Oh, this is so good. Look at that fatty piece right there. It's jiggly. It just tears apart so easily, so soft. Mmm. Yeah. 
240. Documentary ya? Ah, YouTube. YouTube ya, Pak. All right, so while waiting for the curry rice to be served, we already finished the noodles and then now is coffee time. This is Kopi Po, lesser strong coffee with condensed milk and yeah, local coffee beans. Mm. Oh yes. Well, the rain is not so bad. It goes well with the chill weather. So we're back for the curry. Three huge cauldrons of curries are here in front. One for chicken, one mutton, and one fish. It's just so huge and fragrant. It just fills the air with a delicious curry smell. And it just excites me. Finally, it's lunch time and I'm having my curry rice. So I ordered up my mutton curry. It's time for lunch. Finally I got my plate of mutton curry with this rice and some green bean veg and I believe some cabbage. I've been waiting for this since morning and it's just fascinating to see huge pots of curries. People started to line up at 11 a.m. to tapa or have the curry rice for takeaway. And let's just try. Well look at this mutton curry. Look how thick it is. How red the color is. It looks like it's been stewed for so long. Let's break a piece of the mutton oh it's so tender let's get some more gravy on top of the mutton now let's get a big bite with the green bean veg and the cabbage together with lots of gravy mm. you don't need tea to chew that mutton super tender and then the curry it tastes just how typical Indian curry tastes like it's not on the coconutty rich side the spices here are not really strong I would say it's medium spice so tasty I got this papad or papadam which is like Indian snack crispy fried like a chip like a cracker this goes well with every Indian dish whenever I have my biryani or my curry rice Look how crunchy it is. So I'm gonna put it on top of my rice. Similar to the kropo that Malays and Indonesians have with their padang, rice dishes. So let's try everything. Get a huge piece of mutton with a lot of gravy and the papad for some crispy texture. Mm. The only thing missing here, I think it's some potatoes, but it's okay. This will do. So we're just gonna finish this and I think we're gonna walk around and take a look at the area because it's our first time here at Tanglin Hall. Maybe get some dessert, I don't know. See you later. Alright, done with this very very busy coffee shop. The rain just stopped. Again, that Tanglin Hall, Roti Prata is just beside the Tanglin Hall Market and Food Center. Yeah, we're just gonna walk around and see what we can get from this charming old school neighborhood. Loving the vibe here. Go. I like your outfit. <laughs> I'm going to Uncle Ice Cream. Oh, good. Is your uncle is Great Uncle. Hello. Yep. I want 
chocolate ice cream. You want on the bread? Wafer or cup? Cup. Thank you, Uncle. Yummy? Yeah, yummy. Thank you very much. So I only got this drink from the market, which is a black and white kind of soy milk with a grass jelly. Not too sweet. I don't think they put sugar in there, but for half a sugar, it's really just enough. Thirst quenching. All right, so I guess that's it for today's video. It is a wonderful experience. We've traveled all the way from Pongol to Tanglin Hall. It is really one of the best experiences we've had so far because we really love the vibe here, the neighborhood, the friendly people, entertaining, cooking preparations, and the chilly weather today. It's just everything just worked well. I especially love that old vibe of the coffee shop with different types of food, the roti prata, different curry rice varieties, the pork noodles. I think I love the mixed pork noodle and then I love the mutton curry those are my favorites and as well their coffee kopi po really good and piping hot everything was served fresh everybody's queuing up for lunch and we're done we're quite full we ended up everything with ice cream and the soy milk and yeah I'll see you on the next video here in Singapore bye